Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial. It's a little black because I have a surprise. I did something. I adopted a new cat and her name is Black because she's black and I'm so original at naming cats. So this video is going to be dedicated to black. To moisturize my skin to begin, I've been using this, I don't know how to say this, Allegrucy, my French is so good. Uh, it's a 24 karat skincare, it's a silhouette moisturizer. It kinda has like a floral fragrance to it. I already put it on. Um, I just find it really hydrates. Cause it's winter and she's dry. Then I'm gonna use the Hydra Touch Foundation Primer by NYX. This has like ginseng root extract and chamomile and all these really great benefits. And I've been really liking this as a primer. I used to always use Angel Veil, but this one's been good to me lately. Oh, it smells so good. It's like fresh. My skin has been so bad. Like never in my life has it been this bad. <sighs> I don't know. I was gonna use something new. There's a little preview, but I'm just gonna go in with my makeup forever because I don't think I can talk about that yet. But I'm gonna do a review on it. It's a new foundation. I'm really excited about it, but I don't think I can talk about it. So I'm just gonna go in with my handy dandy makeup forever HD. I always get this wrong. I always say 2Y05, but it's Y205. I think that's just like the lightest color. It does have more yellow in it, but the one up doesn't match me. My favorite brush to use for this is the NYX multi-purpose multi-purpose buffing brush. Just gives you like an airbrushed look. This foundation is a little light. But then once it blended down on my neck, it like blends in. See that? Then I just take a beauty blender and I just kind of go over. Not that that brush leaves like brush marks. I just like, I didn't even wet this. I'm like one of those girls on YouTube that like doesn't know how to use a beauty blender. I know you're supposed to use it wet, but I already sat down. My favorite concealer lately that I used for over a month now is the Kat Von D Block It Cream Concealer. It's an L1 neutral. Yes, I believe that's just the lightest shade. Now you'll notice it comes off quite pink on me. Just something to point out. Just gonna pop a little there. I already have my makeup done today. It's like the evening now. I had red lipstick on and just stained it. I like this concealer because the color, first of all, and it has good coverage as well. And what I've been using to set this whole mess with is the no filter powder by NYX. I've literally hit pan on it. And if you've bought this, it like is domed. So like, I've been really liking this. One of my forever puffs, which is like anti, like, I don't know, it's hypoallergenic and all this stuff. I just go in with the powder puff. I know powder puffs are super old school, but I love them because whatever you've done on your face, you're not moving with a brush or a beauty blender. You're just kind of pushing the powder on and I feel like you just mold it together beautifully. I'm bringing an old faithful here. Sephora contour or blush shade in Tranquil. This thing's, I love this thing. And my Tweezer Man brush. No idea what this brush is called, but I've had it for like two years. Just the best brush to contour with. Like the dual fiber, it just, you can't, you can't mess up a contour. Like, that was just the easiest thing that I've ever done. The easiest. So at this point, I'm going to do my brows and I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in black. Oh, my hair today. Guys, I'm trying to grow it out and like, I haven't put heat on it in four months. Like literally, no heat on it. Maybe like once I strained it. I'm trying to get long hair. Anyway, uh, the micro brow pencil in black is the brow pencil I have on every single day of my life on my Instagram. Some people 
think that I have a lighter shade on, but it's truly this one in black. I just blended it with a spoolie so it looks more like a gray tone. But I use this forever. That's what it is. Now what I like to do is take the Kat Von D cream concealer in the shade white out. I love this thing. I just take a little bit on like a concealer brush, anything with a nice like round domed precise point. And what I like to do is I just like to sharpen that brow just like that. And then I bring this down and it's going to marry my eye primer when I put it on. And it's just gonna highlight my brow. Just messily, just like put it on. Put a little blend with the finger. There you go. And then you have a nice, sharp brow that for me, because I'm so white, is highlighted. And speaking of eyeshadow primer, this is the Cargo HD. Love this. I literally take this on the exact same brush. Just like a little speck. I'm just gonna pop it on my eyes. A little bit. Like that. And blend it out with my finger. Before I get into my eyes, because we're gonna go dark today, I'm just gonna apply some of this Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I'm gonna apply that underneath my eyes to bake or get yourself a fantastic fluffy brush, blending brush. This is a Morphe M511. I'm gonna be using the NYX Love Contours All Palette just because there's a color in here I'm obsessed with, which is this beautiful mauve right there. I'm gonna pop this in my crease. Now, a lot of people would use more brown, go for it if you want, but I just find that these kind of colors just go so well on me. Look how pigmented that is. So I'm gonna pop this in the crease. And at this point, what I'm also going to do is this is a Sedona Lace 941 flat shader brush. I'm gonna take this shade, which is just like a bone white kind of color, and I'm gonna set that highlight under my brow kind of blend these together. And I find that this gives the most seamless transition. Because I'm gonna be using a black, you don't have to put a base down, but I like to put a base. And ah, this thing came into my life. Um, and I love this. This is the Inglot Gel Eyeliner number 77. This thing is so badass. Like it is so creamy and so pigmented. Oh, it's just like so black. It's like unbelievably black, to be honest. I'm just gonna pop this um, all over my lid and kind of into my lash line too, just to really deepen it. Like, look how black that is. It's so black. I'm just gonna give that like a tiny little blend. This brush is actually from when I was in school, a Blanche McDonald, which is hilarious. Then I have my MAC 217, which is a brush I cannot live without. There's a black in here, which is super black. And now I'm actually going to set this and then blend this into my crease, make it look flawless. key ingredient to this makeup tutorial is this. It's the NYX Face and Body Glitter in Gum Metal. I almost can't get my words out. I'm first going to put a little bit of the glitter primer or glitter glue on first. It's not an actual adhesive, but it dries to like a matte finish, which makes the glitter adhere. I like to take like a flat brush that I can flip sides because I like to use the same brush for this. Do you see that? Oh. It's just like so pretty. So take a little bit of glitter glue. I'm going to put it all over. Too much, too much, made a all over. 
my lid, just my lid. That, so you don't need a lot. Then, flip brush over. Oh God. Oh God, marry me, glitter, marry me, marry me, marry me. You guys, makeup could be like, the worst ever like the application could be so terrible and then you put glitter on something and then it just like makes it look so good so i apply that and then back in with that mac to and set brush i just like to go over right where the glitter ends just so it's not like a harsh line um from the glitter kit. so at this point i need to wipe off this just with a any fluffy brush here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for my bottom lashes now is, this is my favorite brush for my bottom lashes. It's this NYX brush, it was like their old brushes. I'm gonna take that same shade from the Love Contours All palette. I'm just gonna pop this along there. I like to go in with like my transition color first, just because I kind of can get it like super smoky this way. And so now I'm gonna go back in with that Inglot gel eyeliner and I'm gonna pop this, <sighs> I have to get prepared, in my waterline. In my waterline and then a little bit through and into my lash line. So I'm gonna really smoke this puppy out. This is a Sedona Lace 904. Oh, it's the best brush for the bottom lashes for buffing out a black. So I'm gonna go over first with nothing on this. And cry a little bit. And just kind of set that and blend it a little further. I think before I put lashes and all that on, I'm going to do my blush. I'm going to be using the NYX Ombre Blush in Mauve Me. Oh my god, isn't this just the perfect blush for me? I love, I love it. This is my favorite blush brush. I've used it for years. It's a Sedona Lace one. No Bailey look would be complete without my roll on shimmer in platinum, which oh, this thing is literally my life. So I'm gonna put some right there. I'm gonna do highlight now as well. I have a Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion. This thing is the prettiest thing. I like almost don't even want to actually touch it, you guys. What the heck is that? Are you kidding me? I don't know if it'll focus on it. But it's so pretty, you guys. Oh my god. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray my brush with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. That's what I've been doing lately. Give it a couple sprays there. So we go. Oh yeah. Okay, I put a lot on. But it's so pretty. Time for lashes. I'm going to give them a little curl with my NYX eyelash curler, which I've been doing literally since I started YouTube, so this is nothing new. And the mascara I'm going to be using is the Estee Edit the Edgiest. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I love this little guy for my bottom lashes. I love a really long, like striking, like spirey kind of bottom lash. This. These are the NYX Wicked Lashes, number 23. It's called Drama Queen Slash Diva. And I'm using the Brush On Adhesive Vitamins by Duo. Don't even bother with another lash glue. Quite frankly, wasting your time if you're not using that one. The reason.
For my lip, you could obviously do something like Brooklyn Thorn would look gorgeous. But I'm gonna be using this Lime Prime Black Velvet. Black Velvet, almost forgot the name. Just because I've been using it a lot lately. I have been a fan of black lips. Mm. And to finish, I'm gonna throw on a boatload of this dewy spray. Oh, guys, I hate setting my face with setting spray. It's something like I actually hate doing. Okay. It wasn't that bad. I'm just drunk. Okay, that's the finished look. Do you like it? Do you love it? This is one of those looks that I can actually throw on in like 20 minutes in the morning and like be out of the door to work maybe like 25 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, my whole spiel. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, the whole thing. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.